reacting to criticism for the joke about a black sperm donor, Dobrat and Jessica Dupart Harris. Dobrat and his spouse Jessica Judy Dupart Harris discussed their first search for a sperm donor on a recent edition of Tamron Hall. They also talked about the criticism they faced after disclosing which donor they ultimately decided not to use. The couple, who are expecting a boy, revealed that they had difficulty finding a black sperm donor, so they decided to go with a white one instead. In an interview with The Root, the Chicago MC said, Because we didn't have a lot to choose from. He was not black at all. But I believe our picking was excellent. He's tall and attractive, and I believe his appearance with my wife's egg will be stunning. Only 300 possible donors remained after Judy's DNA screening, and only one of them was black. Brat quipped, and that looked like Jiminy Cricket. I apologized, but that wasn't going to be my decision, rethinking her Jiminy Cricket comment. Da Brat said she didn't think any of the jokes she made on their W. Eddie V. reality show Brat Loves Judy would upset anyone while she was at Tamron Hall. Brat said to Tamron, I didn't think it would be offensive to anybody. I made jokes about nearly everyone I saw. That particular person just so happened to appear on the show, she continued. She stated, we were looking for black donor, adding that it was never her aim to be mean or say anything negative about black people. We desired a black donor because we are black. It was just misinterpreted and taken out of context. As we searched for donors, I mentioned a number of people, but that was the one that was successful. Regarding the show's producers, she remarked, I guess they thought it was funny and I didn't think it would bother anybody or else I would have taken it out. I meant no harm at all, but I had no idea people would be so offended, the speaker said. I apologize if I insulted anyone. However, that was just one of our many jokes between the doctor, my wife, and me. It wasn't intended to be insulting in any manner because we play around. Judy added her two cents and explained how she attempted to handle the criticism they faced. I really tried not to let her see comments that said things like, I hope you guys don't get pregnant. I believe the reason I was more impacted was that I knew she was saying, I don't care, I'm not bothered, but I was there, and there was a lot of stuff. It was intense hate, and although I feel like I'm kind of used to some of it from social media use, when it comes to our child, something we work incredibly hard for, it was really intense. Oh my god, I feel like this should be at least an educational moment so our people aren't as ignorant, I thought to myself at the time.